welcome to this video on the RC Biker channel. Here on this channel I've done lots of breaking in procedures over the years. Thanks very much for tuning into this one. Congratulations on the purchase of your Nitro RC car. Particularly this video is going to be about Habayo RC models. One of my favourite RC brands currently in existence to still be offering Nitro RC cars. You'll hear in the background there I've got a Nitro engine on its very first tank of braking. So I thought I'd do this video today, how to brake in the Nitro engine following the Habayo recommended method. So in this video I'm going to be demonstrating with the Habayo Hyper SS Truggy. However, this method will work as far as I'm aware for any Habayo Nitro engine. However, please make sure you do read your instruction manual thoroughly before the first start to make sure that you get it all done correctly. Nitro engine braking in is essential to ensure a long life of your engine and good compression as it ages. We're looking to get a good fit between the piston and the liner of the engine. So it's really important that you follow the steps in the manual and in this tutorial to ensure that you get the best out of your new Nitro RC car. Okay, so here's the user manual included. Now, normally with your car, you're going to get two manuals. You're going to get one that's specific to the engine, and then the other one is specific to the car. And on each of those, you get all of the information about the car and engine. And on the rear of this one is all the part numbers required for the engine as well. So on the front here, this is what we're mainly interested in, new engine braking in. And uh, so this is what it says then. So uh, if you want to know how to start the engine, please watch the previous video and I'll pop a link to that down in the description below. In that video, I get the truggy out of the box and uh, start it for the very first time. But uh, it says here, once the engine starts, heat cycle the engine during braking procedure. Let the engine idle without the car moving for three full tanks of fuel. Allow the engine to cool down for five minutes in between each tank. Um, engine temperature should be between 37 and 65 degrees Celsius. After completing the first three tanks, you can now adjust the top end needle in a little bit. So a little bit of gentle tuning and driving around without over revving for two additional tanks of fuel. Okay, so that's what the user manual says. So uh, I'm going to take you over to the car now and show you the car idling for um, a little bit. Now what you're looking for is it should be running on a rich setting as the manual states. So two things with that. Firstly, uh, you might notice a little bit of fuel spitting out of the exhaust pipe and also a little bit of blue smoke as well. So my car's still on its first tank. Let me take you over and uh, show you what it looks like. I'm just going to allow that engine now to sit for three full tanks and when that's done we're going to drive the engine around relatively slowly uh, using um, you know varied amounts of throttle and just starting to lean out the engine a little bit so I'll catch you in probably about half an hour when that's done ready for tank uh, four and five see you shortly okay great so we've just allowed the engine of this one to idle for three full tanks and that took about an hour and a half in total this is a massive 150 cc fuel tank so it takes quite a while between each tank it's important not to allow the uh, fuel tank to run completely out because as the fuel tank gets low the engine will do a little bit of lean stuff which we don't really want for a new engine so the manual states as we went through earlier after the first three tanks have been idling for the following two tanks we just need to drive around without using any continuous throttle so for me that means working through the red range but not holding too much full throttle that's going to blow the old fuel out of the pipes and engine clear the, uh, clear the chambers and what that will allow us to do is also start fine tuning the engine as well it does say in the manual from tank three onwards uh, sorry tank four onwards we can now start to tune the engine a little bit so let's um fill the tank up again fill it up Big 
big fuel tank as well so it's not a big issue if we leave a little gap so we're going to be driving the car now so if you haven't done already you need to make sure that all of the electronics including the brakes are working properly okay don't drive the car if you're not um, familiar with or happy with the electronic control so I'm going to start him up and then for the next two tanks uh, I'll show you in a second we're just going to be accelerating using the full rev range but not holding full throttle for too long okay it is as simple as that a few things to be aware of keep checking that engine temperature make sure it's not overheating once you're happy with that once you've done those two tanks it's then time to start fine-tuning your engine and as I said just said I'll pop a link in the description below of how to tune the engine uh, nicely following one of my tutorials so if this video was of any help please make sure you hit the thumbs up of course hit the red subscribe button see more like us on Facebook comment down below else and i'll catch you guys next time bye for now have fun